Hello and welcome back my fellow ninja crafters. This is your host TNC Cuban and today we're going to be working on another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video called Minecraft Quirks and today we've got something <laughs> kind of in store for you today. Now if we take a quick look as you guys can see right here I've got some command blocks set up. I've got some trees growing and I've got some all yeah pretty much all the different types of trees growing and today what I want to know and what I want to see is what tree gives the most saplings and kind of gives the most sticks and of course for the oak trees it gives the most apples now there's a couple of different ways that we're going to be doing this today and first of all we have our random tick speed set to 1000 so that way what we can do is we can kind of kind of make things just just happen a little bit faster <laughs> because there is two different ways to actually punch and or kind of fortune leaves to kind of get saplings but first of all what i want to do is since the tick speed is all the way up we're going to see what we can get from the trees when the leaves naturally decay so now this one I have set up so that when the trees grow it actually grows tall trees now it doesn't always do it <laughs> but that's what we're gonna be doing for this set the very first set of trees we want to make sure that every single one of these is gonna be a taller tree so that way we can kind of see what we get from it and you know kind of see if it's I don't know worth it to grow these trees maybe over these ones or maybe even over the dark oak trees so let's go ahead and run a quick test so this way you guys can understand and see what it is that we do or what I am doing for the quirk that I have in store today so if you guys remember what I did over here with the different biomes and the different orders to kind of see which one gives us the most, we're going to basically do the similar, very similar <laughs> concept. So basically we had the jungle, we basically did five different chunks just like that and kind of counted the blocks that we would get from each biome. If you guys didn't see that video, make sure you check it out right there in the iCard in the upper right hand corner <laughs> and yeah check it out because it's actually pretty interesting what the results were and how <laughs> we kind of worked that out so we're going to be doing something similar if you guys notice we have five trees and we're going to also do this five different iterations so that way we can see exactly what kind of saplings we get and kind of figure out the average from there so basically i have these commands set up so the way it clears all the blocks that are facing in every different direction so if we hit this button right here boom Look at that. And it kind of deletes all the logs and it decays the leaves and then it kind of drops them down here on the ground. So if we hit this button right here, I have it set up with a hopper minecart so that way it teleports every single item that has been dropped into this minecart right here. And since it's a hopper minecart, it kind of sucks them in really quick. So <laughs> makes things a little bit easier and a little bit quicker when you're trying to figure out what the count is. And look at this. Nice. Very good on the resources. We got a stack and a half of, of saplings. We've got eight apples and we got 44 sticks. That's quite a bit. Now, if I hit this button, basically what this does is it plants the saplings and then the trees start to grow. Now, like I said, sometimes these trees don't grow super big, but like I said, it's kind of meant to be random. So, because I mean, you know, trees kind of just grow randomly. <laughs> Now I am going to break this tree right here so that way we can try it again and get a bigger like set up on the trees because we want to make sure that the trees are actually bigger. Oh, I think I picked up a couple of saplings from that. Oh, I'm going to have to watch the video back to see what it was. I think it was about 36, but let's go ahead and see if I can plant this tree right there and see if we can get a bigger one instead of a small one. There we go. Perfect. Cause that's what we want. All right, now I checked back on the video and yeah, we had 36 right here and these two extra, yeah, those just came from the smaller tree. So let's go ahead and do this one more time. And there we go, we got all the items that went into the hopper minecart. So let's see what we got. We've got actually less on the saplings, which is kind of a surprise. And we got less on the apples. So maybe it's just because of the trees were maybe smaller. Not entirely sure. But like I said, we are trying to keep it to where all the trees are going to be growing big. So once I kind of get the rest of these going, yeah, I'm going to have to fix that. But once we get the rest of these going to where they're all big, I'm going to go ahead and kind of figure out what the average is over five different iterations. All right, and as you guys can see on the last set of trees that we've grown, yeah, things kind of are a little like up, down, up, down. <laughs> kind of a different variation. So let's go ahead. The average should be 
76.6 saplings, 7.6 apples, and 30 sticks on average. So yeah, that's kind of the average of what we get from these trees. And like I said, every time I did the trees and hit the button with the saplings, I made sure that the trees were <laughs> bigger than that one because, yeah, it would kind of really see, yeah, <laughs> that would really throw the readings off because the whole point of this was to see what the big trees kind of give us and if it's even worth it to kind of grow them and kind of deal with the pain of, like, all the weird, like, grown blocks and everything. Yeah, see that? <laughs> this tree is one of the harder ones to chop down. Now, another question that you guys might have on, <laughs> you know, the trees and the way it grows is what way is better to break the leaves? Is it better to let them naturally degenerate or is it better to actually punch them? Well, we're going to be running that test, but we're going to be kind of running that test towards the end of the video. Once we kind of run all these tests to figure out what trees give us what resources and which ones may be the best to kind of use early game in Minecraft. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue going ahead and breaking these trees, letting them degenerate and kind of figuring out what the average is for each kind of like type of tree, I guess. So like these I named like Big Oak and this one I'm gonna name Little Oak. Then we'll set up some signs so that way you guys can see what the results were. And while I am crunching all of the numbers to try and figure out all of the loot you get from each tree, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know we do stream on Twitch every Tuesday and every Thursday from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you follow so you can actually watch and come and hang out while we're on a live stream checking out things on any other projects that I might have going on that are bedrock related. Also, if you like this video, make sure you smash that like button, make sure you hit the bell and subscribe for more content like this. And if you would like me to do any more videos on some bedrock quirks, make sure you leave some comments to let me know what kind of things that you would like to know and like to hear about. Then if you want to support for what it is that I do here on YouTube and on Twitch, you can also check out my Patreon page to gain some different perks. And now that I've gotten all my plugs in, let's jump back to the video. And here are all the results for the different tree saplings, apples, and sticks that we've gotten from all the different trees. Basically, we got the big oak at 76.6, apples 7.6, and 30 sticks for the big oak. For the small oak tree, we got 22.6 saplings, 2.8 apples, and 6.6 sticks. For the birch tree, we got 12.6 saplings and 3.6 sticks. Now for the one by one spruce tree, it was 17.4 saplings, 7.2 sticks. The spruce two by two was 73.6 saplings and 30.2 sticks. For the dark oak tree, it gave us 27.2 saplings, 3.2 apples and 12 sticks. The acacia one by one, sort of, <laughs> gave us 17.4 saplings and 7.2 sticks. For the jungle one by one, it gave us 13.2 saplings and 6.4 sticks. Then the last one, jungle tree two by two, gave us 62.8 saplings and 28.2 sticks. And there are the results. Now, if we come over here and we take a quick look at where all the trees basically rank in the sapling department and if you look on the bottom left we got 17.4 which is the birch and the highest was 22.6 now it, the way i've kind of set this up is we've got the one by one trees right here uh and kind of like the ranking system now we do have two by two trees right here but i did kind of put the big oak tree or the large oak trees that we get <laughs> kind of with the four by four trees or the two by two trees because well the resources that were gained from them were pretty comparable you know with the two by two trees which is actually kind of cool so one sapling gives you just uh, an enormous amount <laughs> of resources compared to like some of the uh, two by two trees but anyways the bottom that gives us the least amount of saplings is the dark oak tree which you know i'm pretty sure <laughs> everybody already knew that second place comes in at 62.8 which is the jungle uh sorry that was third place <laughs> second place was the spruce that gives the second most amount of saplings for two by two trees at 73.6 and then of course at the top which like i said was pretty comparable 
the large oak trees that, you know, I mean, they don't grow too often, but if you kind of set this up, you can almost guarantee a large oak tree almost every time. Yeah, that gives us a 76.6 saplings. So if you guys ever wanted to try and bone meal some saplings, yeah, the, the oak tree is the way to go. All right, now for the last test of this video, we're gonna be testing out a basically a question that I get asked or a statement that I get told every time I do a skyblock map. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our game tick speed to zero. And then now what we're gonna do is we are gonna chop down these logs in survival mode. And with my trusty efficiency five axe, we're gonna go ahead and chop down these logs so that way we can actually get the leaves to decay. And we're gonna kind of check and see what kind of saplings we get. I wonder if I can, um, I have to dig down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get the leaves to decay on their own and kind of see what we get and then after we do five iterations of You know the leaves kind of decaying on their own, which I know is gonna take some time Yeah, we're gonna just do probably just the oak trees, but yeah, we're gonna let those decay We're gonna see what we get after five iterations And then we're gonna do the same thing with a fortune axe and kind of see what the saplings are on each iteration from letting the leaves decay on their own punching them with our fist and then with a fortune axe So let's go ahead and crack it on <laughs> wow, you guys, that <laughs> that took a lot longer than I anticipated. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Just to let these leaves decay five times on these trees, man, that, that, that took an hour. Just that alone took an hour. Then I had, of course, you know, punch them and then chop them. <laughs> but anyways, the results are in, and you guys may or may not be surprised by this, but check it out. If we go and we let the leaves decay, we get about 18.6 saplings. If we punch them with our fist, we get about 17.6. So basically like one less than what you would usually get from letting it decay okay if you punch them but i mean this was i just broke that <laughs> oh my goodness now i can't even show you what was on the inside <laughs> but i do have the numbers written down still so yeah it, it's just <laughs> it really wasn't that much of a difference between the two like between decaying and punching them i mean they were pretty comparable all right, now that I fixed that, <laughs> and now I'm back in survival mode, so I don't accidentally break one of the other ones. Okay, so if we look right in here, you can see almost every time we did not get an apple. If we come over here to the fist punch, I, I obviously this, this isn't what it was, but it was the same thing where we wouldn't always get an apple and stuff like that. Now, I can't really tell you what the saplings were each time, but like I said, for the average, I mean, everything was pretty close to the same. I mean, you can't really say that one is better than the other because, I mean, when we let it decay, we got 18.6, but we also got less apples. If we punched them, we got 17.6 saplings, but we also got 0.8 apples. So, uh, yeah, I can't really say one was better than the other. And I can only say that they've got to be pretty much the same thing. So from now on, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are doing one of Dan Robbs' Skyblock maps and you guys are wondering if punching a tree is even worth it or if you should wait for the leaves to decay, punch the leaves, man. <laughs> it's not worth waiting for them to decay because just one time, I mean, shoot, that's like 20 minutes of a wait time. It's it's gonna rain and it's gonna get dark on your sky black sky block before you uh yeah before you actually make it <laughs> to get in your second tree so anyways if we take a look now fortune yeah look at that we've actually got a pretty good like loot from hitting him with the fortune axe which is which is nice we got 30 saplings We've got two apples, well, two and a half apples, kind of average. And then we've got just about the same amount of sticks as we did saplings, which is pretty cool and pretty nice because sticks can be useful, I guess, if you're gonna be, you know, fortuning leaves anyways. I, I mean, I wouldn't, that would, that would just take forever. <laughs> but one thing that I did notice as the saplings being that I've got 30, I noticed that when we were letting the leaves decay at pretty much random tick speed 1000, we got 22.6, so it's that's kind of a high number. Now, it's not too much higher than, you know, punching it or letting them decay. I think maybe this one just got a little bit lucky, and I was kind of just thinking that and wondering, 
if maybe it's a little bit of a bug with the decay uh, being at a thousand tick speed. I don't know, maybe more testing would have to be done, but before I kind of ramble on and before I continue <laughs> to talk about what we got going on with leaves, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's pretty much where we're at for the video. And if you guys have any other questions, you guys have any other concerns, you want to know more about how this stuff kind of works, maybe you want me to do some more testing, let me know down in the comment section. Jump over into the Discord, we can chit chat about it even some more. But without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for stopping by. Bye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys all on the flip side.